All right, welcome back everyone. In this episode, we're gonna work on implementing this email and password field. So now that we have OAuth set up and working, we're gonna work on something a bit more traditional with our inputs. So let's look into our code and let's see, this is, so if you remember here in login, we looked at GitHub login in the previous one. Today, we're gonna be looking at the login form. Great. So the first thing we're gonna do is at the top, we're gonna introduce our script setup, lang ts. And we're gonna bring in, because the goal here is to sign in, we're gonna bring in the sign in function from use auth. Next thing we're gonna do, if we look at our form, we want email and password. So we're gonna just create two ref variables and they're gonna be strings. So we're gonna do ref email, ref password. And let's see here, we're gonna now find the input. Let me show you. sorry, this is wrong. So here for the email, we'll say v model email. Okay, and we're actually gonna do the exact same thing for the password feed, password input. But instead of email, it's password. All right, so that should be all good. But the question is, how do we get this sign in to work here? First things first, let's do an at submit. So when this form submits, oops, we wanna do prevent, which just prevents the default behavior of redirecting. And then we're gonna call sign in, oops, let's see here, sign in. And instead of GitHub, we're gonna call something called credentials. And then we're gonna pass it, email and password. Pretty easy, right? But there's gonna be one more step. This won't quite work. Next, we have to go into our auth provider. And in here, we're going to import what's called credentials provider. And this is, oops, and this also comes from next auth providers. And then this is just credentials. And so there's gonna be a lot of code here that I'm gonna introduce, but I'm gonna take you through it. So credentials provider default, and then this is gonna take an object. We're also gonna add this little TypeScript comment, just because the default, default here is required to work during SSR, it says. And then we're gonna name this credentials, and this takes an authorize, oops, authorize, function, I guess you could call this credential, oops, credentials. And for now, we'll just give this an any. And now what I'm gonna show you here, in fact, I'll add a comment, note, the below logic is not safe for production or proper authentication because we haven't set up a proper database yet, I'm actually gonna just save my user in this dictionary on the server side. But you really don't wanna do this. It, it, hopefully in the future, we're gonna be going into using a proper database like so we can, we can truly authenticate against secure data. But for now, we're actually gonna just call this user and we're gonna check against it. So, our credentials here are what gets passed through. So we'll actually console.log credentials. And let's see here. Let's get to the bottom, go back to here. And let's just say test that email and I'll just gobbledygook. And then once you submit it, you're gonna see this is our credentials. And so, through this authorize function, we're passed credentials. And you're gonna see here as email, password, CSRF token, 
of the callback rel and JSON is true. So to log in, we can actually just say credentials dot email is equal to user dot email and credentials dot password is equal to user dot password. Once this conditional is in place, we can return user. So now we should be able to log in. Oops, test at, what did I call it? At Gmail. And then we're gonna do password. And then when you sign in, now we're logged in. Just like before, pretty new, right?